I did some of the move, but Bruce, where Bruce, Bruce, and then Michael Murphy's moving here, yeah. Yeah, Michael Murphy should be here in September, and then we're going to get the ordinance through. Yeah. Nice. You know, that's not such a long spot. Because remember, they're high up, but there might be some low ones. Oh, kind of new to me. Yeah, if you're on a trust, you can keep the work on the the question is, what is the occupational health, occupational safety record of Monsanto itself? Um, I don't know. Um, but I can tell you, I can tell you, I called the Department of Labor because people complained they were bagging the Monsanto seed and it says not for human consumption and they were beating the dust and our Department of Labor said you better look into this and they said the bag says not for human consumption I said yes they said but they're not consuming it I said they're not beating it and they said are you a doctor I said yes <laughs> and I said breathing is like the worst beyond consuming I mean the worst thing consuming and they said we'll get back to you and they never did so you can imagine some poor schmuck calling to blow the whistle on Monsanto. Do you think the Department of Labor? Uh, what about OSHA? Wouldn't OSHA be checking? Okay. It affects to supervise the State Department of Labor. The staff says not for human consumption. And they're reading it in the elementary school. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah, we got one Sunday. I mean, you know. But don't forget the GM studies by Dr. Trave from Norway. He fed rats GM food, and within two hours, it was in the stomach cells of the rat. Not stomach cells. Within six hours, it was in the lymph on first feed. And what did Monsanto say? Well, it's in the cell, but how do you know it's on? So he did a culture, and he put the GM stuff in new patients, and he went into the cells, human, rat, blood, and stomach, and then they were on. Okay, so when you say, you know, as they pass the animal, then they can read the animal. See, within the first three, two hours, they can move into the main cells. I mean, that's kind of disturbing. I agree with the American Academy of Environmental Medicine. This is perfect. Well, some people, remember how we did GM Taro? We blocked GM Taro? Some people are willing to block GM Yeah. If you keep your livestock GMOs, how long will those stay in the house? I don't know. <laughs> we, we don't know. So pretty much all chickens be on the last GMO. And so, my chickens don't eat my feet anymore. Yes. Genetic obsolescence or genetic monopoly through obsolescence. GMO. That's what's going on. That's the game plan. That is a projection. Genetic monopoly through obsolescence. What? They're doing they didn't see wars in the 80s. They're looking here in my watch I want to really have a message from you to you from Wild Lua. Um, Near the end of the talk, they said, you know, it's robust. There's stuff all over. That's like saying, it's hopeless. There's aspirin all over. There might be a lot of GM, but it's not so many different kinds. Because aspirin is all over, doesn't give you the right to release chemotherapy into your water. You've got aspirin all over. Okay? Each one is to consider, be considered by itself. And this will always help you when the companies say, so you're against GMO. I will show you a papaya which is guaranteed to say, okay, that's the papaya. It doesn't give you license to go put another modification into our pocket. It's like another job. Yes. Can you be uh, a company facility that can assess I bring you a complaint that I suspect. Is there a way to test it that's accessible to the public? I'd like to see that. We tested on the diet. 
uh, Kapoho had the GM papaya, and the high school project brought a desk, we didn't have a desk, but we had a desk, testing for papaya. And it was a simple question. If you intend this papaya to be GMO, are you eating it? Half the stuff that they didn't intend GMO was GMO. And uh, of course they were eating it. So there is a quick and dirty test. There is another test by a certified lab for pool samples. If you say, let's have one leaf of X chili pepper for me. Pool it. You can pick it up. You can test 3,000 leaves at once. $300. Now, if it's positive, I don't know which one it is, but something is cooking. That's how we're supposed to monitor the carrot. Pool it. But the papaya is so widespread, it's individual tests, positive, negative, positive. It's easy. So individuals could purchase those tests and test them one of them to find us if they... Yeah, we were testing it here at Hawaii uh, for a while. And then they, we had to take all the tests to Big Island because the kids had a project. Yeah. When you said that when you spoke to the Indian Cuban crisis, I brought my project. Oh, did I test it? Yeah. Was it negative? Oh, okay. Now, all those tests have to go to the big island to finish up their project. Uh, Maui has very pretty low uh, papaya attitude uh, things. Yes, Mike. Uh, so, Monsanto likes to sue people when their stuff blows onto your field and they're not even trying to grow it. Yeah, that's an interesting tactic. And, uh, uh, but back to the chemtrail thing. Now, I have solar panels, and if somebody's trying to permanently whiten my sky, Who's going to compensate me for my solar energy that I'm not going to be getting because somebody's permanently white in my sky? And might that be another approach to take on uh, the same battle boundaries? Right. Uh, I think that uh, the, the uh, patent is owned by Hughes Aerospace. Hughes, that's a whole other thing, and we don't have to get into the question there. But they have uh, a patent that they just call the Wise Back Patent to do spraying of ammon uh, aluminum and varying salt in the sky. I, I've seen the patent. So um, I would like to sue them if they are making it so that I can't get my solar panels working full efficiency and I have to buy an eco tower. That seems like there's a cause there. Well, remember, he wants to sue for damages. I would just like to stop for lack of gas. Yeah, as a way to stop. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 We're so concerned about the hen trails that we don't even know they're happening, but we seem to be ingesting all of this uh, wind when they're burning the cane. That's a very good question. First of all, I wasn't that concerned until these guys told me we were real close. And these guys also say, you find on the website, we're ready for field tests in a couple of years. Or we've already done it. Maybe. These guys are real close. Second of all, burning. I'm going to rule. <coughs> you kind of have to tell me you got to give me an EIS, and you really do, if it's irreversible, it went beyond your own fence, and you couldn't stop it. Okay, this one is kind of reversible. This one you can stop. It is going beyond your fence to other people. But this, to me, is a whole different level of concern compared to this. Right? Or the life form of GM. Life form release. Is there any sense of urgency with the EIS project? I'm not sure how that. Is there a student writing it? Is that the normal way these Oh, the students are good. Don't you right. kind of write it? Oh, no, no, no. She and I were writing it, but we were sitting down and writing it. She analyzed your data on the bodies. The student is really good. We've been talking about this openly on Maui for a year has already gone by and I think a lot of us have been seeing we do see it. We know it's happening for two years at least intensely. So even I'm the, feeling a little like even if we have a law and somebody says, hey there's a law, stop that. They'll say stop what? That thing you're spraying. They'll say, what's that? What's that? What's that? What do you think? It's hard to prove that what they're doing is going past a law against. I make a panel yeah, and I'll hand it by your comment. Um, we have been working or trying to get uh, um, Mr. Patrick Wall, who is the council 
for the county council. He wants to do a workshop for us about writing ordinances, writing resolutions, so that Gladys Bison is like, you guys should be able to write your own stuff. So as soon as he is ready, we will be having a workshop so that we can learn how best to write our own laws and submit them to the county council. And the county council members that we have handled so far have invited us to do that. So we should feel empowered and you know we just need a little Thank you. That's what I wanted to know because yeah. a lot of this is going on behind the scenes, so the information isn't I know there's good things happening. We just don't know who and what and